Hello everyone, happy to see you here. Welcome back to my channel High Mathematics. Today we have a very interesting great equation 2 to the power x plus x equal to 1. We need to solve it for x, so if you have your answer, your assumption, you can write in the comments below and then we will check our answer, so it will be really interesting. So first of all, let's subtract x from both sides. As a result, on the left side, we will have 2 to the power x and on the right side, we're going to get 1 minus x. We just subtract x from both, from both sides. Right now, let's divide both sides by 2 to the power x, but before this, let's change position. So for better understanding, let's write this 1 minus x on the left side and 2 to the x on the right side. So we change nothing, we have equal signs, so it's also great to change positions. Okay, so we can divide both sides by 2 to the power x. So this is our next step. 2 to the power x is not equal to 0, obviously, so we can easily, we can easily do this. So right now, from here, what we have? We have 1 minus x, we divide by 2 to the power x, and we divide by 2 to the power x our right side. So we have 2 to the power x, we're going to divide by 2 to the power x. Right now, let's see what we have on the right side. On the right side, we can easily cancel our 2 to the power x. We have 1, only 1 on the on the right side. On the left side, we just need to write this 2 to the power x in our numerator, but uh, we need to know a really important property, first of all, yeah? And this property looks like that, when you have 1 over a to the power b, so when you have expression in your denominator, if you want to write it in your numerator, so if you want to write it right here, you just need to change the power to the opposite one, so a to the power minus b. And that's why we can write this one as 1 minus x in parentheses, okay, this is our numerator, we have it, but 2 to the power x, we just need to change the sign so 2 to the power minus x and equal to, we have right here, 1 on the, on the right side. So I really hope you understand this first, uh, this first step. What are we going to do after this? After this, we're going to swap positions. So instead of 1 minus x, let's write minus x plus 1. So this uh, for better understanding. Okay, so let's write minus x plus 1, minus x plus 1, times 2 to the power minus x, and equal to 1. So I really hope you understand it. So we, we just change position minus uh, 1 minus x. This is the same as uh, minus x plus 1. Okay. And uh, what we're going to do next right now, let's multiply both sides by 2. Okay. Let's do this. So let's multiply both sides by, by 2. Okay. As a result, I just want to write this 2 on the third position, not on the first, on the second one, but on the third position. So we have minus x plus 1 times this 2 to the power minus x and times these two, okay? I just multiplied both sides by two equal to one times two. So I just multiplied both sides by, by these two. So it changed nothing, but in the same way, let's group these two elements at the second one, two to the power minus x, and let's group it with, with these two. What do we have? We have the same base, and we have multiplication, and uh, same, in other words, we have right here one, okay? So this have a power of two. So if you look off, this have a basic school property, power rule, when we have a to the power x, when we multiply it by a to the power y, so the same base, but different powers, and of course, we need to have multiplication, okay? Not, not addition or subtraction. We can write it as a to the power x plus y, so we can easily add it, we can easily add these powers. So let's do this. As a result, we have minus x plus one, times 2 to the power minus x plus 1, okay, minus x plus 1, equal to, equal to 2. And right now a lot of students might be asking why you do this, why we multiply both sides by, by 2, why we divide, why we, why we do this step, because a lot of students might be asking this question, because in the beginning we have very great expression, 2 to the power x equal to 1 minus x, and right here we have like more complicated expression, parentheses, powers, and a lot of students might be asking why we do this. And here's my quick answer. There's like a function, a really important and really great function, it's called Lambert W function. This function looks like that. When you have expression like that, a times e to the power a, this is like a structure of this expression. When we have this expression, we can easily apply Lambert W function to this expression, and as a result, this expression equal to a. So we need to have the same expression right here, and we need to have the same expression as the power of e, okay? So, for example, we have 3 times e to the power 3. Same expression right here, same expression right here. We can easily apply lambda w function real quick. And as a result, our answer is, is 3. So, as you can see, this, this function simplifies a lot because we can easily get rid of all of this and we have as a result only our a, but a equal to 3. So, in this case, it simplifies a lot. And right now, let's try to create the same expression on the left side. If you look closely, okay, we have minus x plus 1 and we have minus x plus 1. So, the same expression. So, we, we close to apply lambda w function, but we we don't have e, okay? We need to have e. We have 2. We don't have e. Yes. Yeah, so, right now, let's try to express this 2 uh, as e, okay, in the, in the way of e, yeah? So, how can I do this? First of all, this 2 can be written as e to the power natural look to 
okay? This is like according to a natural log a property, this is a great expression. So instead of this two, let's write this e to the power natural log two. As a result, what do we have? Minus x plus one times e to the power natural log two, e to the power natural log two, and to, uh, right here, minus x plus one, don't forget about this power, so minus x plus one equal to equal to 2. So we have e right now, but we need to simplify this a little bit. First of all, we have right here x, uh, our our rule, it looks like that, a to the power x raised to the power y. Yeah, we have right here base, power, and power. So if you look closely at this identity, at this uh, rule from school, this is equal to a to the power x times y. So we just need to multiply um, these uh, powers, okay? So let's do this right now. We have right here minus x plus 1 times e to the power nature look 2 times minus x plus 1 nature look 2 times minus x plus 1 and equal to equal to 2 and right now let's look closely what do we have uh, in this case we have e and it's great but we don't have the same expressions we have minus x plus 1 but right here we have nature look 2 times minus x plus 1 so two completely different expression but with the same with the common thing we have right here minus x plus 1 and minus x plus 1 but uh, we need to multiply both sides by nature look 2 and then we're gonna get nature look 2 right here and we have the same expression with the power so everything is gonna be great so let's multiply both sides by nature look 2 so multiplying both sides by nature look natural log 2. As a result, we have natural log 2 times minus x plus 1 uh, times e to the power natural log 2 times minus x plus 1. And don't forget about right side. We just need to multiply our right sides of 2 natural log uh, to natural log 2. Really great. Right now, natural log 2 minus x plus 1, for example, this is our a. Just keep in mind that this is our a. And we have the same expression right here, natural log 2 times minus x plus 1. This is also our a. So we can easily apply Lambert W function. We have the same expression, the same structure that we need to apply Lambert W function. So let's start with that. Let's apply Lambert W function. So Lambert W function of this long expression, natural log 2 times minus x plus 1, minus x plus 1, times e to the power natural log 2 times minus x plus 1. And of course, don't forget about right side. We need to apply on the right side uh, this lambda w function. Yeah, lambda w function of 2 natural log natural log 2. Right now, let's look closely. As I said before, we have a great structure, a times e to the power a. So as a result, we can actually get rid of everything right here. And we have only our a on the left side. So it simplifies that a lot. So from here, we have natural log 2 times minus x minus x plus 1. This is our expression on the left side. And on the right side, don't be scared about it. This is our Lambert W function of 2 nature log 2. Don't be scared about it. This is a constant. And this is like a basic constant. And with Lambert W function, this is also a constant. So don't be scared about expression on the on the left, on the right side. Okay, how can we find from here our x? Of course, let's divide both sides by nature log 2. By nature log 2, let's divide both sides. Yeah, as a result, we have right here, uh, we don't have natural log 2 on the left side. We have only this parenthesis, minus x plus 1, equal to Lambert W function of 2 natural log 2. We're going to divide it by natural log 2. We can't cancel it. We can't cancel this natural log 2 with this one. Mm, I hope you understand it, because this is our expression. Uh, we works with the, this expression with the Lambert W function. This is not like right here or right here, so we can't cancel it. So right now let's uh, find from here our x. This is up to you. How can you express from here x? But x equal to y we have right here 1 minus this Lambert W function. So Lambert W function of 2 natural log 2 over nature log 2. Right now let's simplify it. We can simplify this expression. So equal to 1 minus Instead of this 2, I just want to write e to the power natural log 2, okay? And this expression, let's write on the first position, so Lambert W function of this natural log 2, I'm going to write in the first position, natural log 2, but instead of this 2, I'm going to write e to the power natural log 2, e to the power natural log 2, and all over natural log 2. Right now, this is our structure, a times e to the power a, so we can actually get rid of everything, we need only our a, this is our Lambert W function, and as a result, we have only natural log 2 in our numerator, so equal to, we have 1 minus, on, in numerator, only natural log 2, in the numerator, we have natural log 2. We can easily cancel it, as a result, this is equal to 1, so we have 1 minus 1, equal to 0. So the correct answer, the correct uh, answer to this question is, is zero. Right now, let's check it real quick. We have zero, so I really hope you understand it. So right now, let's check it. Uh, let's go, for example, on the right side. So check 
prove, let's check it real quick. So 2 to the power x plus x is equal to is equal to 1. Let's check 0. So x equal to 0. Let's see what will happen. So we have 2 to the power 0 plus 0 equal to equal to 1. And everything is great. Yes, yeah? so we have 1 plus 0. So 1 plus 0 equal to equal to 1. Everything is great. So our root is absolutely, uh, absolutely correct. And you know, here's like a few tips, few hints, because you know, a lot of students might be thinking, I can easily solve this question by inspection, because um, in most most percentage of cases, we just check this root by inspection. So, for example, we have our question. Maybe let's check x equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, minus 1, minus 2. So they, they spend like um, 2, 3 minutes uh, to solve this question by inspection. And the, the wrong way, because of course you can solve it by inspection, but this is like 1, 2, 3 lines. So this is not a solution, but solution is... It's right here, a lot of lines, a lot of thoughts, a lot of tricks, a lot of algebra. You need to know a little bit about algebra. So as you can see, this is a solution, not this inspection method. This inspection method is great when you need to check a root, when you need to solve this question, uh, when you need to check your root, first of all. Yeah, but if you're talking about solution, sometimes happens that you solve this question correct with the inspection method, but you need to prove it, you need to prove it with this with this solution, which is also really great for you and for your teacher when you learn a little bit about algebra, when you mm, check this root, when you know properties, when you know lambert w function, and with this step-by-step -step method you can get closer and closer to a correct answer, and this solution is much better than this inspection method, yeah? So, yeah, this hit my thoughts, and I really hope you you understand my thoughts. So, thank you for your time, let's write our answer real quick right here, so our answer, we, we check it, yeah, so we have right here, our answer x equal to x equal to 0 is a correct answer to this question, and I hope you saw the um, graph, you can thought, uh, see these points of intersection, so it's also prove like um, how this question looks like from geometric perspective, because every time we have um, this type of expression, doesn't matter, 2 to the power x plus x equal to 1, or different expression, you can every time, you can prove it with the with the geometric method, yeah, we can prove with the with the, this graph two to the power x plus x and equal to one, and we need to see like points of intersection. So every time I recommend you to check this question from different perspective. Okay, this is algebraic method, but when you write in the end that we, I just want to check it in from geometric perspective, it's also really great. Like from from different perspective, it's proved that your solution is also it's also great. And right here we have one point of intersection, so it's proved that we solved this question. Uh, it we solved this question correctly. So thank. Thank you for your time. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you understand my explanation. I really hope you do. And if you do, you can easily write your thoughts, write your response, write your comments in the comments below. It's really interesting and it's really important to exchange information, to see like math from different angles, different countries, different approach, different thoughts, different different everything. Yeah, so it's it's also really great. So thank you everyone for watching my channel. I really enjoy it. I really appreciate it. Hope you enjoy it as well. Thank you everyone for your time. Take care of yourself. Have a great day. See you in the next videos.